17 Resident Evil 7 tips and tricks to help you survive in RE7 and take the fight to them. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Chris with Blind Man's Bluff Gaming. Welcome back, and man, I hope you're doing awesome. If you're new to the channel, are you looking for more Resident Evil 7 tips and tricks? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now, tip number one. After searching a room, standing, search it again while crouched. You'll find more stuff. Do this for every area, including hallways. I've found shotgun shells, antique coins, etc. in just the weirdest spots. Tip number two, use the storage box in the save room to store any extra or unused items, such as the antique coins, which you can use later. Now all the storage boxes are connected, so you'll be able to access your items from any saved room. Now one thing I like to do is I like to have two to four open slots in my inventory to allow me to pick up any items I'm exploring. I also have one crafted first aid ready to use. Tip number three, chem fluid and strong chem fluid are your base crafting material. Combine chem fluid with herbs for first aid, combine with gunpowder for pistol rounds, combine with solid fuel for burner fuel, and combine with supplements for psychostimulants. Now combining strong chem fluid with herbs will create a strong first aid. Combining with gunpowder will create enhanced pistol ammo. Combining with solid fuel will give you flame rounds for your grenade launcher. And combining with supplements will create neural rounds. Now here's a tip. Store any extra chem fluid or strong chem fluid in your stash and wait to craft until you know what you need them for. Tip number four, be aware of and take note of doors that have scorpion, crow, or snake on them. Once you find them, they'll show up on the map. Now once you get one of those keys, make sure to backtrack to previous areas that had those doors. You'll be richly rewarded for it. Tip number five, conserve your ammo. Try and use your weaker weapons and standard ammo types first. Especially try and save your shotgun ammo, enhanced pistol rounds, and grenade rounds for boss fights and situations where you have more than one enemy. Just use the shotgun to finish off one enemy quickly and then take care of the other with the pistol. Tip number six, when fighting molded, shoot once in the head. Don't waste ammo on the body shots. Then turn and run for a little distance. Turn around, shoot again, run a little further, and shoot them a third time in the head to finish them off. Now the shotgun will kill them in one shot to the head, which helps if you're dealing with more than one molded. Tip number seven. If you find an object, like a table, where enemies have to circle, Wait for them to strike and move in and do a couple hits with a knife. Move back and circle again. Which, I was surprised you can actually kill them with a knife. It does do a fair amount of damage. Tip number eight, how to get the shotgun. Which is critical. I mean, make sure you get this. Now, after you retrieve the scorpion key, which is located in the, in the basement in the main house, you'll find it in a big pile of yuck in the middle of the room. Once you have it, go back upstairs and go and open Granny's room. It's on the second floor. The broken shotgun will be near the door. Now go downstairs and replace the shotgun with a broken shotgun. Now quick note, you're probably going to have to shoot Jack dead to have time to do all of this. Tip number nine, the molded don't respond. So once you clear an area, go ahead and save. Tip number 10, when backing away from molded to get room to shoot, make sure to not go too far away or they will teleport back to their starting location with full health. Tip number 11, shooting insect hives with a shotgun will destroy them. Tip number 12, save after making progress, like solving a puzzle or moving the story forward. 
dealing with the Baker family. Now the Baker family will stick to certain areas of the house. They will however teleport in those areas so it doesn't work trying to lure them into one area to get into another. So for example, if you're trying to get into Granny's room to get the broken shotgun, luring Jack into the kitchen and then sneaking past him doesn't work. He'll just appear upstairs and probably run you through while you're trying to open the door. I, you know how I know that. <laughs> Alright, tip number one. If you can sneak past them or avoid combat with them, do it. There are only certain parts of the game where they'll stay dead. Tip number two. Staying crouch will keep you undetected longer. Tip number three. If spotted, you can retreat through crawl spaces or hatches. Tip number four. The bakers are limited to certain areas and certain rooms in the estate, so they won't follow you through certain doors. Learning which doors is very helpful. And tip number five. Now sometimes, like in the case of the broken shotgun, you'll need to just shoot them down so you can have the time you need. If you are looking for more Resident Evil 7 tips and tricks videos, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Until next time guys, this is Chris. Have an awesome one.